Ah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. I accidentally had a filter on a live, which I didn't even know was possible. Um, hi. Did you guys like the episode? It's so surreal to watch it. Just also, it was the season finale, and it's weird that we're not going to be on next Thursday until we come back. So it's just strange. I was waiting for the trailer to start, and it was so awesome to watch. And what did you guys think of it? And how do you guys <laughs> feel about Andy and Sullivan? And how do you feel about finding about Nikki and I? <laughs> and, um, how do you feel about Ben Warren in that interview? Or that, what would you call it? Not necessarily interview. Yeah, interview or like interrogation. Interrogation. Um, yeah, that was crazy. That was, um, it very feels very weird, weird right now. Like, of course, it's so exciting because we we get a little break and then we start filming season three, but it's crazy to think that that's like the end of the season for season two. Um, yes, this was not a bawling episode. No bawling your eyes out. This was, we like knew it was like more of like reprieve from the bawling and, and got to like um, a laugh, a lot of drama. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. Niles and Jay. Like, Literally yes, new favorite, couple. new favorite couple shipped them like crazy. It was pretty insane that, um, when he was on set, just so you guys know, he's absolutely stunning. Like it, I got really nervous and I kept like avoiding <laughs> cause I was so nervous to talk to him. He is a very, very, very stunning man. Um, I just keep saying, um, um, Dylan and Travis. Yes, yes, yes. You did cry. Wouldn't you cry? Someone said they cried. I'm sorry you cried. I kind of got emotional, but I got emotional because it was the end of the season. So mine was more like reminiscing about all the memories. Oh, you guys, um, me and Maddie put together another IGTV. <laughs> Definitely check out the IGTV. Let us know what you think. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I really didn't know much about IGTV. Maddie's introduced me to the whole world of IGTV, and uh, we've been doing a couple of videos. If you haven't checked them out, there's probably, what, four up there now? Yeah, I think about... There's four, yeah. Four. There's like four IGTV stories okay. up there, and they're yes, awesome. Um, Danielle does a great job of getting a compilation of like behind the scenes videos. She likes to, you know, get content together while you. Guys I like to drive all the actors crazy, drive really crazy and, <laughs> and constantly it film to me, one. and I try to compile it in like a fun, cute, silly way. So if you guys have suggestions on like more stuff you want to see for season three in IGTV, if you want us to start doing yeah. some interviews, things like that. We have an interview coming up. What yeah. Did, what did you do in an interview with me? Okay, perfect. I didn't even tell her. Just surprise. surprise. Um, but yeah, definitely check out the IGTV stories. They're a lot of fun, and I love uh, putting them together with Maddie. Because um, it's cool. It's cool. I get really emotional about all those, too. It's like an inside look into like what it's... All the behind the scenes. Like for them. Yeah, all the behind the scenes. Someone asked if... Um, if Hold on. What was that question? I saw it, and then it went way too fast. Nope, it's gone. Yeah. Uh, is Dylan actually deaf? Yes, he is. Uh, the actor, what's Nell's last name? DeMarco. DeMarco. Nell's DeMarco. Check him out. Amazing. Oh, phenomenal story. Great guy. So happy to have him on the show. Um, if you don't know him, find out about it. He was also on Dancing with the Stars that I didn't know. Everyone else in the world knows. He, he won in Dancing with the Stars, right? I don't know, but he also got a start on America's Next Top Model. Pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, he's done it all. Yeah. Um... Tell me, tell you why I have a problem with sugar. I mean, who wouldn't have a problem with sugar? <laughs> sugar is so good. You have a love hate relationship with sugar because you, you think love, it's a love it, hate? but it's it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a huge problem. Um, uh, let's see here. Thank you, everyone. I'm so happy, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us the entire season two, and for telling your friends and your family and everyone you know about it. Honestly, like, none of this is possible without you guys. Like, the love you guys share, show us and, like, the showing up every week and live tweeting and and being a part of the entire universe, it means so much to us. So thank you so much for all that. And I get really emotional because it's been such an amazing journey and we're all so lucky to be on it. Um, so Gray, Gray Damon actually knows sign language. So, yes, there's a couple actors that knew. Uh, Barrett knows a little sign language. Gray knows sign language. Um, you know a little sign language. I know a little bit, but I, I took a semester in school, but um, I was able to, like, tell them. So Gray tell them actually knows how to sign, like, yeah. fluently? I wouldn't, I mean, I don't wouldn't say fluently, uh -huh. but, like, yeah, he but knows. conversationally? Yeah, conversationally. That's yep. so cool. Yeah. So is that why they selected him for that scene, or? I don't know how it all played out. I believe so, because Gray did tell them. Like, yeah. we knew that. He said, I'm never telling them anything that I can do ever <laughs> Because then it became a whole thing where he had to sign. Yeah, but no, Greg can actually sign. He was not. Ha he didn't have to be taught that. Ah, oh, Barrett, Barrett, Barrett. How do I? How do I? 
Yes. <laughs> I need to really start wearing makeup on this thing. Okay, what, waiting for, <laughs> like, we never wear makeup. We need to get, like, done up and do this. So. <laughs> yes! yes! You know Jay's here, too. What? Yeah, he's coming. Jay's here? Jay's reading all of this. And so is, I think, Gray's here, too. Oh my god, wait, no, wait, how do, I get, how do I get Jay on there, too? You can't three-way? Three no. What the hell? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I didn't realize that Jay's handle was the Jay Hayden OO. Yeah, yeah, he's... I'm sorry, Jay! I'm sorry, Jay! I didn't know that was you! <laughs> oh, shit, I just threw my thing, sorry. I wish we could get, like, other people... Okay, so I've got to... Okay, then I've got to talk to everyone. So, Barrett, we've got to talk. How did you feel about tonight's episode? You killed it. You had me both freaking welling up in tears. Stop it. You no. know the cat was funny. The cat was the cat was crazy. I couldn't get through <laughs> a scene with that cat. Uh, <laughs> um uh I want some people to ask Jay questions on the on the thing too. <laughs> you yeah, want him to talk to Jay in the chat while you guys um, are talking. There, uh, yeah, I don't know. I loved the episode. It was so much fun to watch. It was so much more. I got to turn down my TV. God, I was watching. Um, I was just saying, I like had forgotten because it was such like a, like we all calmed down. Like everything else was so emotional before that when we actually did this episode, like I felt like I was kind of in la la land. Like, what are we shooting? What are we doing? Yeah. It was so hard to bring it back to like action land after we were just crying for like two months. Well, I was. I don't know. Hi! <laughs> Good. <laughs> Everyone, this is Alicia. Alicia is a prop master on our hey, show. Prop master. Prop master. Both of you guys were asking about how um, uh, Patrick, what's Patrick's last name? Duffy. Duffy. Duffy's hand. Uh, Jay, uh, sorry to interrupt. Sorry, Jay just asked okay. how the Jay said. turned out. It was steamy and oh sexy God, and I loved every hard. second of it. I assume you haven't watched you and your kids, your kids wanted scalloped potatoes for dinner. <laughs> Jay, I'm more impressed by this statement. If anyone can see what Jay wrote, I haven't watched yet because my kids wanted scalped potatoes for dinner. How did the kiss turn out? First of all, I want to taste some of these scalped potatoes, Jay. Yeah, Jay's <laughs> a great cook. Fun fact about Jay um, Hayden. Jay's an awesome cook. And also the kiss was extremely hot. 10 out of 10. What 10 out of 10. Yeah. Although it 10 out of 10 by surprise. What? <laughs> what? Like it caught me like it happened. Like it was like a ha. Like, yeah. I like, oh, and I remember I just screamed about it. I was so happy, so happy to see it. Um, I was really excited to meet Niall because I saw, I watched him on America's Next Top Model and I was like, oh my God, who is that? And then um, well, I you also- You love reality, I, so you know all this stuff I do, on. I do, yeah. And I, stud, uh, I studied ASL in college. I technically minored in it. Um, but uh, Gray actually like signs. He's much more fluent than I, than I, I, am and I've lost so much of my my ASL skills it was so sad but hopefully we'll get Niall back for a little bit next season wouldn't that be awesome we have to practice and we can all learn something yeah, I just get really nervous though you can attest to that wasn't I so nervous yeah we both so I mean, nervous room who isn't nervous when you meet a guy who looks like that I like know. a sculpture like a as I said like a sculpture I'm reading little thingies. You can read all the questions too that are down here, right? You can see everything. Yeah. Um, how did you feel about the big reveal that Maya used to date? Nicole? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love it. Bring the drama, baby. Bring the I drama. Love it. I, I want to sit in on that brunch. <laughs> <laughs> I just That's love like too how like, oh, how Gray and Oak just are so subtle with their reactions. Like it really gives nothing. Like you have no idea what they're thinking except for like, huh? I love it. I love it. I want to be, I want to sit in on that brunch. That's like my bread and butter. I love an awkward brunch. Maybe we should all get together during the break and just take pictures yeah. like the brunch is actually happening. Yeah, you guys have to go out and get waffles. Yes. Exactly. Love um, it. I'm trying to think of what else. What else? Oh, uh, the hand getting taken off. That was queasy. That made uh, Maddie queasy. Oh, oh my God. God. The line about tendons being easier to cut through than bone made me bark. I was like gonna barf. <laughs> I, I talked to Jake Borelli about this a little bit but Barrett do you 
on set ever get that like uneasy queasy feeling from either reading the script or having to act it out or seeing even just like the fake blood everywhere that one was bad that that yeah. particular that like that line really bothered me um because i just thought of that as it was just so gross um but it was pretty fun to shoot like that whole sequence we did it was hard but it was fun we got through it all sequentially so we shot it like almost all the way straight through without stopping, like all those sections yeah. of the scenes, which is really hard when you're doing medical stuff that you don't, you know, fully understand. But <laughs> um, are there any other questions that people have? I'm just glad to see I'm you. reading <laughs> everything. I want, I'm trying to go through. Have you rescued this about for so um, how do you feel about about uh, Andy and Sullivan? Woohoo! Finally! I was, I mean, weren't we all waiting for that to happen for, like, yes. the entire yes. season? Although she was so sad at the end. Yeah, I know. Little... Huh? Um, let's see. I'm trying to read them all. Hey, Barrett, what do you got against cats? Someone wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It really came out like Vic hated cats. No, I think Vic was just, it's been in a moment of kind of hating her life, and I think we all know why. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that scene with you and Patrick Duffy was so beautiful. Oh, uh, it was that was my last scene. You were there. I remember me and Alicia were talking about it. How we sat there while you filmed that last little piece where you're like, "The fire's here, guys!" I know. Um, I couldn't that, stop laughing at that line because it always made me think, "Pizza's here, guys!" <laughs> <laughs> but I remember seeing that scene, and then you and then you wrapped. Yeah, and that was my last scene I shot from season season two, and it was. Um, Exhaust. It was an. It's been an. It was an exhausting season emotionally. So I'm really, you know, I'm happy I, to be on a break right now. <laughs> I'm happy to be on a break and not crying anymore. Someone has a question, Barrett. Uh, mm. Is there going to be a season three? Hell yeah! So excited. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. excited Can't wait to see what's next. It's always interesting to see what like you know, when you leave off at the end of a season with certain cliffhangers that you know you're going to want to, like, see the resolution of, or alternately, yeah. when your storyline has sort of reached a, a... Like, I have no idea what's going to happen in season three for Vic, you know? Like, that's... For I have anybody. No like, I'm like, where's everything going to go? I know. I want to know. And with you guys, that you know, I want to see the resolution of what this dating situation is and, like, how that's going to so tease itself out. And it's just... And what's happening with Andy and Sullivan? Like, now they're in a weird position where they've kissed. He's in pain. And nothing else happened. So there's not even, like, an after effect. You know, it's just, it's, so now they, oh, they're going to have some weird thing. That would be the thing. worst situation so ever. I know. Like, who finally wants make that? a move on to... someone you like. And then it just stops. So scary. That's so scary. I feel like, oh, that's the worst. Sorry. What would what would like? I'm having like... PTSD. <laughs> what? I know. Yeah. Yeah. What would you like to happen with with your with with what's happening to you next season? What would you imagine? Oh God, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know where to begin. Like, I definitely want to see how the Jack, Nikki, Oak, Maya thing's all gonna play out. Yeah. Um. Do you think that Maya is going to now have to, like, kind of grapple with some jealousy? Or do you think Ooh. that it's going to be... I don't know what the story with Nikki is. And I don't want to get attached to an idea in my head because I know it's probably going to be something completely different. So I feel like I'm kind of torn between, like, I want to I want to know the history there. And it's like, is it jealousy? Is it hurt? Like, I remember Stacey kind of wanting me to play it more like there's some definitely some bad history with me and Nikki. But I don't, right. I don't know what that storyline is going to be. Interesting. Right. People want to know if you're pregnant. I don't know. I honestly don't know. That's, you know, of course, like, that was a thought that I, I, I had where I was like, what if that's, that's how, like, you know, because technically these episodes have come not that long after the funeral, you know, it's, it's not like, oh, she could have figured out that she, you know, she, she, she might not know yet, you know, so it's, who knows, yeah. I actually have no idea. Um, but I can't deny that that would be like a, that could be a really interesting way to to explore that story, you know. That'd but I don't know. Really um, why did they kill uh, Ripley? <laughs> the the kids would have such nice hair. True. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually really true. Someone said, "Why did they kill Ripley off the show?" I don't know. 
I don't know either. Oh, no. God, I don't know. I mean, I suppose, well, the truth is, is, you know, firefighting is, is, is scary and it's dangerous and um, you risk your lives. And, and I know that Stacy wanted to, wanted to show that reality and that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, you can't plan for it. You can't, it, it's just tragic. And, and it shows how brave the rest of us are to continue to, to continue to, to work in that profession. And it's just really, I mean, I, I find it really inspiring, even though it's really heartbreaking and sad and, and people go through that. So all it's the time. honor to represent, you know, the, the portion of the firefighter community or the population that has lost someone who they care about. Um, it's, um, it's really, it's really sad and it's really difficult and it'll be interesting. I'm hoping that there'll be some opportunities for at least, you know, Travis and Vic to, I sort of did it like a little, it was, you know, Travis and Vic are, are close friends and now they sh they have this really strong bond of the shared experience that I think is going to be really interesting for them to, to talk about and to help, he can help her process and, and vice versa. Um, so, her and Jay, uh, say what you're saying because I, I missed that. Who's got a strong bond now? Travis oh, Jay, uh, yes. Well, you guys have always had Travis, a strong bond. Sorry, Travis, I'm comment. Travis and Vic, um, yeah, have this. You know, they have a way to relate that's going to go beyond just you know their 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 friendship, but deeper to how they've sort of like lived. How, well, like, now he's in jail. Thing. I know. God, who, how is the nicest person in our station in jail? That's that's no. what I want to know. Because he was protecting his best friend. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was some other. How about your I'm, I'm, big, big, sexy so. makeout at the beginning of the episode? Oh my god, the opening so of much. the episode. That was I nerve wracking. I don't know if anyone saw the tweet. That was sorry, Dad. <laughs> I'm happy how it turned out though, because like I really wanted it to be like. Steamy, and I think I think we got it steamy. It was very steamy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. I loved every you're second also, of it. What were you gonna say? You're also from an area in Southern California that experiences like regular wildfires. Oh my gosh, yes. If anybody knows Steamy Valley, California, it's where I'm from. Like, at least once a year, you get evacuated from your house. And I'm sure, like, <laughs> for people that aren't familiar with like the valley and and Southern California, it's like a real you know, especially this last December with the Woolsey fires and everything, that's something that really causes a lot of devastation. And mm -hmm. was it difficult to kind of uh, capture, like, what a firefighter might actually experience, like, you know, combating a real life, uh, a natural disaster, you know? Like, what what are some of the things you do to kind of, like, get into that headspace? That headspace? I think what was interesting with this is like, it was very, like Stacey had told us too, that this is something we aren't used to doing because we're not used to dealing with wildfires. And that's why we kind of make some mistakes and we're, it's, it, we're out of our element. Yeah, I guess, yeah, um, firefighters. yeah, so that was kind of interesting. It does happen all the time. I know a bunch of us talked about wanting to touch on, and I did specifically too, about wanting to touch on wildfires or mudslides. Because what people don't know, unless you're in a, a fire hazard area, like a high, fi high fireplace is, or high, what am I trying to say right now? High risk. Fire. High risk, that's yeah. the word high risk fire zone, like you have fires and then the, the ground is completely burnt and then it rains usually right after fires and there's horrible mudslides like we had in Montecito year. last year, yeah. 2018 or 2017, 2018, I believe. 2018, yeah. And so like that stuff I would really want us to touch on because it happens all the time and we call yeah. in fire because yeah. what people don't understand too is that firefighters, you could only call so many of your resources from the area to that area. So only so much, like say the fires in Los Angeles, only so many, or in California, only so many California firefighters can actually go to the fire right. because the, the fire, there's still to say firefighters in the area. In the city, yeah. 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 So you're calling in resources from everywhere. And that's what I never understood until my sister being a firefighter, I learned a lot because I'd call her and be like, are you in Montecino? Are you with this? And they're like, no, they're keeping me on base. So mm. like, some firefighters go and some firefighters stay and I don't know there's just a whole I could ramble about this stuff forever and so ever because I'm a total fire nerd kind of follow up you know to what happened at the end of the season with with the fire yeah I maybe should... like <laughs> like a mudslide or something <laughs> that happens after said, someone just said Barrett you look lost and I am because I'm not... <laughs> you're like what is Danielle talking about either and I'm... so it's like be it's been interesting the last couple of years 
being like being in California and 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 under like trying to understand what a t like a horrible threat like that that are. natural <laughs> yeah are. it's like Thanks. it's just that natural <laughs> phenomena is it's like totally foreign you have yet yeah, there's yet to be an earthquake while you've been here Barrett we got to get some ground shaking yeah out. someone yeah. said that there was no, one at like three o'clock in the morning I didn't even wake up for it and I was like well damn it now I don't want to know <laughs> But yeah. you don't usually notice, especially if like you're in a car and the earth, sh like the ground shakes, you don't notice oh, at all. No, I'm not. A lot ready of times they that. just come and go. You're yeah. not ready for that. I don't know. <laughs> I, um, people want you. People want you back on Broadway. They loved you in Groundhog Day. Oh yeah. Please well, tell. So please fun. tell Barrett. Christine says hi. Hi, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. And then there was something. Did Jay leave us? Did Jay no. leave? I don't know. We have Probably. to text him to get him back on. We do not know when we start filming for season three. Nope. Um, nope. And yes, Krista Varanoff will be taking over as showrunner for season three, someone asked. Um, <laughs> we're excited for what the future holds. Super excited. Um, uh, do you think you should be prepared in a real life with fire situation? Do we think we'd be prepared? Well, Barrett has had to deal with a real fire situation and she handled it like a boss, right, Barrett? Barely, yeah, barely. Although, yeah, I had to go put out a little tiny fire and last, it was during first season, there was a little tiny fire outside my house. I smelled smoke and I had to, um, I had to go dump some water on it. I, I, I felt like I was in control, but then I went into work and I was like, guess what I did? And <laughs> <laughs> but I also thought if I tried to put this little fire out and it didn't work, and I didn't call the real fire department, I would be in trouble. And I would look like a real, real idiot. So I'm really glad. <laughs> but that didn't happen. And I'm so glad that it didn't never happen. happened. I successfully situation. put out a little tiny fire and the firefighters that I talked to on set the next day were like, yeah, that's fine. You weren't gonna get in trouble. <laughs> you will know if a fire is getting out of control. So, yeah. yeah. And I feel like you'd handle it even up until that point. Um, <laughs> I have to give a shout out to Joe Kelly. Hi, Joe Kelly. They asked for a shout, oh. shout out a couple times. Um, they Barrett. want a musical episode. Yes. <laughs> right. Paris wants a musical episode too. Trust I know. Me. Well, yes, there is was. a piano in the um in our little break room near the beanery. So here you go. Need that. Need that. Okay, I'm going, going, going. Let's see if we can get. I'm gonna see if I can get Jay. For a little bit, but I don't even yeah. know how to. Okay, hold on. Well, let me. I... I'll go away. Wait, text him. Wait, text him. Can you text him? <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah. Wait, slide. Wait, see, no, stay on and see what happens. You're on right now. You on right now? I, I don't know. How I'm doing. testing out what pauses. Hold on. Oh. Are you paused? Not yet. Hold on. Are you on there? Are on the live? Yeah, go on the live. Oh, you can't because you're on. I don't think I. Can. Wait. Oh, you can't. It's, no, no, no. Wait. Wait, wait one second. Maybe. Technical difficulties, Barrett. Okay. Anything well, you want to cool. add while we're doing I'm just this. looking at. Uh, I'm just looking at the okay. comments down here, seeing if there's any questions that I can answer. Okay, I'm gonna. There we go. Hi. Oh, Hi. Did, did you do it? Did it work? I text Jay, but to get out of Instagram to text him, it pauses it. But did it pause it on your end, or were you still on? No, I, I think I was still on. I couldn't tell what people. I was about to start um, start answering a question about. Yes, what my answer, answer. Was. To shoot the season. Um, I mean, it was a really long season, so it's hard. To, that's actually a hard, a hard question to answer. But I would probably say the most like impactful scene that I did this season was probably the last Brett's last scene. The scene with Ripley in the in the hospital bed was really and it was really uh, it was a really intense experience, but it was a really like beautiful like moment that we both I think really I mean you, it's hard to say you enjoyed it, but it was really it was really um, it was like really deep and it was it was nice. It was a great experience as an actor to have. Alicia is over here in the corner and just goes, 
It was rough. <laughs> yeah, it was. It, it was rough. It was I really mean, rough. You were there, Danielle. I mean, it was really like, it was really hard to do, but it was also really like beautiful. And it was nice. It was like a, yeah, it was a powerful experience as an actor. I haven't quite had that experience before. So it was really, that was really special. But really sad. It was. And you and Brett just knocked it out of the park. Thanks, buddy. Sad that what it was had to happen, but scene? if anyone was going to do it, you guys killed it. What'd you say? <laughs> what was your favorite scene to shoot this season? It's a long season. Oh, me? So it's hard to, you me? can't even. I don't even remember all my scenes. Um, Anything from Crazy Train? Or... Oh, I really liked Crazy Train. That scene, oh, the, yeah. umbrella, that, the little umbrella monologue, that was so much fun to shoot. I liked um all my sex scenes with gray were a blast no <laughs> but that that was like, loves make out scenes she loves them <laughs> i don't know why it was so weird and oh, she also likes to watch them me. so she'll show up on set when other people have make out scenes <laughs> i think danielle was there for like 80 percent all of your of our, almost all of them, almost all of them, which is hilarious. I remember the first time Brett was like, was that Danielle at Video Village? And I was like, yes, just don't. This was like, this was at the beginning, you know, in episode five, I think. And he, he was like, before we had all spent so much time together. And he was like, was, was Danielle at Video Village? I was like, yeah, she's a perv. Don't worry about it. <laughs> she's a perv, just watching all the sex scenes. Yeah, don't worry about Listen, her. you know? <laughs> don't mind her. I don't know what it is. She's just back there. I also back there and you're like, how did it go? And I'm like... <laughs> you're also like I'm like e eating popcorn, watching the scene, being like, this is awesome. She was. She needed to like coach. You were like, okay, here's what you're going to do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like being that person. Because those yeah, are the most awkward scenes. So I feel like me being there might be yeah. really weird. But I feel like I like to be this kind of calming force that's like... I'm here for you to protect you, and if I think anything looks wrong, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> yeah, right. All in You're my just head. back there going, "You look hot." <laughs> That's it. That is what I end up doing. Yes, and embarrassing the hell out of you. Um, yeah, Danielle does love the spice. Good, uh, <laughs> love spice. I love me some spice. Yeah. Um, what was the re the most What was the most realest moment for you two? Together? We haven't had enough scenes together. Yeah, I know. God, I wish we had some fun in that doing those um those driving scenes <laughs> when you almost had a, when I was like, out. Yeah. You guys, when we did that scene and like I feel like it doesn't even show me breathing heavy. In the finale. Yeah, you can't tell, but it's because you're you're in the moment. It like actually is oh, oh that's Miguel's daughter. Miguel Sandoval's daughter oh, he's on for, is the on for the People right now, and it's on the background. Yeah, so there is more family crossover happening in Shondaland at this exact There's moment. There's crossovers that you didn't even know were happening. Crossovers all around. Yeah. Um, Interpersonal crossovers. Um, we are very, we are very good. We're, we're, we're besties in real life, right? <laughs> we spend a ton of fucking time together. So we're about to good. find out like, how good a besties we are because we're about to spend seven days together in one room. On an island. <laughs> On an island. <laughs> Two firefighters go in. Only one comes out with Alicia. What did <laughs> you say? going to be the buffer. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia's the calm one of the three of us. She's gonna be like, I don't know what these two are doing. There's so much to do. Anyways, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Um. But, uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna leave with this question, Bear, and then I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and guilt Get Jay into getting back on here. Great. Is do you feel lucky to be on Every the show and to be working with actually working with? Oh. Every day. Every day. I mean, even when I'm not working, I'm grateful for this experience. It's been so, it, it, the last year and a half, it feels like longer, but it's like the last, like since we started. It does it, feel it, like longer. Doesn't it? I feel like I've known you guys. When you spend like 14 hours a day, five days a week with a, you know, a big group of people, but it's also, it's very intimate. You know, you get so close to people and like, 
as a as like a theater actor who thrives on an ensemble environment it's it's like a dream i just i love it so much and um i feel lucky every day our cast is so talented um we're lucky enough to actually love each other even when we drive each other crazy we like <laughs> it, it feels like a family it really does and it it like we do have an amazing chemistry as a cast and i just really i feel so grateful i just love it so much i love this job i love station 19. i'm so happy to to work with you and with with Ash, Ash. And my friends. I'm packing a cat right now. Oh, cute! I feel the exact same way, and so much more. It was a question I got on Twitter tonight, and I felt nice. like it was such a great question to kind of end all the stuff with today. Because I was like, I do, I do feel like I know we bust our butts, and like you feel like it's not luck. Like you can't say luck is how we're here or whatever. Like luck is part of it. But yeah to be like with all the elements aligned that have aligned and to yeah. work on the show with the, like everybody down to every crew member, every writer, every PA, every, like there's not a piece of our show that doesn't feel like a family. Yeah, totally, totally. I feel the same. So I'm really looking forward to next one. Season three. Yeah, me too. Yes, okay, I um I did another IGTV, so I'm gonna pimp it out. Go watch it. Yay! Okay, we're into the time. Bye, guys. So. <laughs> Bye, girl. I'll, I'll, see you, I'll see you. I'll see you in like uh, two days. Oh God, can't wait. Okay, she's gonna come Alicia stay with me in New York, you guys. It's gonna be great. Love you, Alicia. Love you, Maddie. Bye. 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 Love you guys. Love the fans. I can't wait to see you guys sometime soon, and I'm sure we'll do a live. We should just do a live just for fun when we're hanging out. Um, if we get reception on our tiny little island. Oh, my God, yeah. Well, love you, fire nerds. Talk to you soon. <laughs> get Jay. I'll watch. I'm going to get Jay right now. I'm going to try. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. Is Jay on there? I don't know. <laughs> hey staff, if you're out here. Um, okay, no, I don't see him. Come on, Jay. Jay. So I don't. Jay. I you guys, I'm gonna try to get Jay. Hold on. First of all, hold this first. Just I need to. He's probably sitting down with the kids eating his scalloped potatoes right now, guys. Um, I'm going to see if I can get Jay on here because he was on here earlier and I didn't even notice. Because Jay's never on here. So I think I saw it and I was like, that's not Jay. Um, oh, he just answered. Ah, hold on. I might get, I might get Jay on. I yeah, might get. I'll wait a couple seconds to get try to get Jay in here. Ah, here, wait, just do this. Okay. Okay. Jay okay. Jay. in the car with his kids. Jay's in the car with his kids, but we're going to try and get him on. I don't know if he's going to. But if not, we'll answer a couple more questions. Um, okay. I'll answer a couple more questions. It was great to have Barrett on. It's always fun when other actors come on. Um, <coughs> that was a good one, too. You guys didn't lose connection or anything. No. <laughs> Hold up one second. Yeah. This is, you guys, I'm sorry. I literally was on a plane. And I just, well, I can't. Why can't we ever do lives after like a photo shoot, like when a hair and makeup's <laughs> done or something? Um, That's part of the live. It's part of the realness. Get Barrett back. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get Jay, guys. Well, um, if I can't get Jay, funniest scene to film. If I funniest scene to film, I don't know. Alicia, what do you think is probably one of our funniest scenes that we filmed? Oh my god. We have a lot of funny, crazy scenes where everyone acts insane. Beanery, I was gonna say. 
Foi por um hospital. We have a lot of moments on set where people just start laughing and we can't stop. So it's really hard to pinpoint like one funniest scene. If you go to the IGTV, you'll see many funny moments and lots of dance breaks and a lot of really funny situations. Mm -hmm. Just a plug. A lot. I love the IGTV stories. Um, cause I like, I like filming stuff constantly and then to actually get to put it together. Maddie puts it all together. It's awesome. Will Selvin's leg be okay? I have no idea. How is Barrett going to feel about, uh, um, how is Vic going to feel about Travis being arrested? I don't know. Probably it's going to be pretty weird considering he was fighting for her and now he's arrested for it. She might not um, Do we do real firefighter training? Uh, I wouldn't say we do real firefighter training. We're not going out with the with the real guys doing crazy intense stuff, but we deal with all the real equipment on set, and we have technical advisors with us 24-7 to make sure we're doing everything properly, that we're doing the best we can to represent firefighters. Is Maddie my sister? Maddie is not my sister by blood. <laughs> Even that's not like her. But she's like my sister yeah. from another mister. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Sister from another mister. That's yeah. That's exactly what we're like. She's really cool and hip, too. And I say stuff that's really, like, outdated and, and not cool. Danielle didn't know what fit was today. Guys. I didn't know what fit was. I don't know what anything is. She's like, who styled your fit? And I was like, like, my fit fit? Like, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't think Jay's going to come on because he's in the car driving, which honestly is a smart thing. He shouldn't. So I respect that. But respect. thank you so much for tuning in tonight's episode. Um, I will try to keep doing lives on Thursdays. I will be traveling a ton so I don't know how likely that's going to be, but um, when I'm in Spain or when I'm with the girls on the, pop up on the island, I will uh, try to do some some uh, lives. But if not lives, I'll definitely be doing videos and pictures. You guys will see a ton of that. So try to keep a ton of content going until we get back uh, for season three. But so excited about season three. If you guys don't know, we have a season three. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Leach, how do you feel? Yeah. Leach, how do you feel? Yeah. Yes. Season three. Yes. Yes. Season three. Yes. Season three. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So we're all very ecstatic here and happy, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's episode. Um, and it didn't put you through emotional roller coaster like the last two did. Ah, oh, Jay's on. Come on, Jay. Why do, you, why do you do this to me? Wait, I'm coming and getting you. I'm coming and getting you. Get it, get it, girl. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Wait. He said I'm on. I saw him. See? Oh, could we on it? Okay. Damn it, D. What? I no, see Jay, you. Don't go I'm anywhere. here. Wait, we have to request him. Right so, there. Go to his name. Go to him. Um, yes. Yes. Go live. Yes. <laughs> Go live. That took way too long. Are you in a suit? <laughs> Amelia! <laughs> it's frozen. Oh, no. Hi. 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 Hey, Amelia. Hi, Hazy. Hi, Amelia. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 You and Niall tonight were, oh, my God. How'd it go? Was it good? It was so good. I'm very worried for you, though, because you obviously got a, got a, uh, sent to jail. <laughs> I got sent to jail. Yep. Got arrested. Got arrested. Really yeah. How do you feel about this, Amelia? Woohoo! <laughs> So we'll have a trip to Disneyland. Oh yeah, um, Amelia. Amelia's only happy that we got picked up for season three because we get another free trip to Disneyland. Oh heck yeah, <laughs> Amelia. That's a very yeah. good reason to be excited. Yeah. I'm excited with you because I have yet to do the free trip to Disneyland yet. I need to oh, utilize you that. Gotta get that happening, girl. I know. Woohoo! You know what was so funny? I want to come. Yeah, yes. Casey, you get to go every year. <laughs> Jay, Woody, Woody wanted to know um, when Amelia is going to be directing an episode of Station 19. <laughs> Listen, I just want Mariana to keep teaching her how to run B cam. Is Alicia still there? Will you tell Please, her I said hi? Come say hi to Jay. <laughs> oh, hello. How are you? I love you. I miss you. I miss you too. Oh, man. Alicia, if you don't come back for season three, you know I don't He's come back. back for season three. Because we. <laughs> All right, good. I'm so happy about that. I didn't even wait to hesitate. I was like, no, no, she's back. We'll be there. Uh, Danielle, you looked you looked gorgeous in New York for the upfronts. Aww. You looked great. 
If anybody missed those pictures, you better go get them on the internet. Thanks, yes, Jay. Yeah. You're making me blush, and right now I look like I just like got stuck in a wind machine. So. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me of the wind episode. Oh, Which God. you don't want to go back to that episode. My Boy, skin really literally fun. hasn't recovered from that. Just my it's just eyes. Dry. Just dry. Just yeah, dry. Yeah, our eyes. Um, anyway, we're pulling up. We're pulling up to where we're getting dessert. So we love oh, you guys. Yeah. We miss you guys. Thank and you. we're getting. And we're coming on, guys. Have fun tonight. All right. Bye. Hayden's out. Okay, guys, I think that, that we have to end it on a high note. Um, that was awesome. I'm so glad that we got to talk with Barrett and Jay, and it didn't cut out too much with Jay, even though he was in the car moving. So that's awesome. Um, as you guys can tell, we love you guys so much. We also love each other so much. Um, we hope that we continue to grow this family um, behind the camera, in front of the camera, and with the fans. So keep telling everyone you know about the show and uh, get everyone to watch it on Hulu over their, our break. Get everyone to catch up on the two seasons because we're coming back for season three, baby. And uh, we'll be sending videos and Instagram lives and stories as much as I can during all this time. So in the meantime, keep watching it on repeat and uh, get your, uh, your storylines out there that you want to happen. And maybe some of them will come true. Who knows? I have no say. So I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you never know. Though. You never know. Um, in the meantime, guys, don't forget, you guys can check out any of the IGTV stories I have up there. There's a ton of behind the scenes from our show, and I do love putting together all that footage. If you guys haven't noticed, I kind of like taking pictures and filming videos. No. If you hadn't noticed, I kind of like it. <laughs> so anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. I love you guys all so much. Um, and I'm kind of sad that this is for the last IG for the show this season. But we'll see you season three. We'll see you season three. At least you come say bye for the sign off. Okay, everyone. Bye, guys. Lean in, lean in, lean in. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>